So in this example, we're giving a simple, given a simple circuit here. We've got uh, three different current sources that are driving the circuit. And they're asking us to determine the voltage drop, VA0 and VB0. So that would be the voltage between A and 0 and then B and 0. So it's basically the voltage at those two nodes relative to ground. <clears throat> so let's see how we would approach this. So what we're going to do is do nodal analysis. So we'll look at both the nodes and look at the current entering and leaving those nodes and uh, summing them up, when, which they should equal to zero. So let's do that. So we'll look first at this node A. So that'll be what's on this line here. So as we do that, first thing we're going to uh, note is this resistor that comes off of that node. Now notice that uh, the impedances are in Siemens and not ohms, so we don't have to divide by them, we multiply by them. So if we take that first uh, resistor uh, right here, what we will have is 0 0.1 times VA0, so that's just Ohm's law. So that's your uh, susceptance times your voltage. Alright, so as we uh, move down or move around to the different uh, loads here. So next we'll look and see this branch here. We have a current source and we're defining current leaving the node as positive. So this is 3 amps that's entering the node. So therefore we need to show this as negative. So that'll just be a minus 3. And so now if we continue to look around... Um, the branches here, we have this branch here. While we do have a resistance there, there's also a current source that's defining what the current is in that branch. And it's leaving, showing knowing, it's showing that it's leaving node A. <clears throat> so that being the case, uh, that would just be a plus four, plus four amps. And then finally, we've got this resistance here that's connecting the two nodes of interest, A and B. And so we need to take the difference in the voltage between those two nodes times uh, times that impedance. So when we do that, what we'll have then is plus 0 0.3 times VA0 minus VB0. And so that's all the current. There's four different branches coming out of that node. So if we add those currents up, then that should equal to zero. So now we want to come back and look at this node, node B. And so we will uh, write it on that on this line. And the first thing we notice too is, again, is this resistor. And so uh, if we write the current coming through that resistor, it's going to be 0 0.2 times V B0. All right, and then likewise, uh, we have a current source. Let's make that uh, this color red. And that current source shows uh, leaving the node, so it'll be positive. So then we'll say plus 5. And then we'll keep the green. If we look at the green again, that's the same, but this time the current's entering our node B. So then uh, that's going to be minus 4 in this case. <clears throat> and finally, the only one left is the purple one. And this time we're comparing it from node B to A, not A to B. So then we have to reverse the signs on those. <clears throat> so when we do that, it'll be minus uh, 0 0.3 times VB0. Let me write that a little neater. B0 minus VA0. And again, that's all the currents that we're leaving and entering node B. So then we should be able to set those equal to zero. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. <clears throat> so now we should be able to uh, multiply things out and combine like terms. So when we do that, uh, let's do that here. Uh, that's just algebraic 
uh, application. So the result of that then is going to be 0 0.4 times VA0. Again, that's just multiplying things out and combining like terms. And then minus, and that's right, A0, minus uh, 0 0.3 times VB0. And that's going to be equal to minus 1. And then the blue our node B equation becomes minus 0 0.3 VA0 and then plus 0 0.5 VB0 and again that's equal to minus 1. So actually I should move this down to this line here. <coughs> so now there's our, uh, again this is Combining like terms of this guy, moving them over. So again, there's our two equations, two unknowns. So there's various ways you can solve this. Uh, you can isolate one variable and subtract it from the other. Or combine in there are, are, are several different things. The approach I've, I want to use is just linear algebra approach using vector uh, matrices operations. And so if we do that, we'll have 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. This is the coefficient matrix. And it's times our variable matrix, VA0, VB0. And this is going to be equal to uh, minus 1, minus 1. So taking that, uh, most scientific calculators today, you can do matrices operations with them, and that's what I did with my HP calculator. And so when we do that, we will have VA0, VB0 is equal to minus 1, minus 1 array divided by point zero point. Sorry about that. 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 divided by that matrices. So if you were to plug that all into the calculator and ask it to evaluate it, what you should come up with then is VA0 is going to be equal to minus 7.27 and B, B0 is going to be minus 6.36. And I believe these are repeating. So here are the voltages at those nodes. VA0 or the voltage at A relative to ground. VB0 or the voltage at node B relative to ground.